We've lived here for 15 years and I don't see ever leaving this home. And I think we knew that when we to did raise, buy it. Yeah, we to knew raise Brooke and Luke. with the kids, they're back there watching TV. We're in here. It's just, you know, you only have so much longer with yeah. them. Yeah. And Oh, yeah. Don't say that. I'm going to fall apart for you. <laughs> Truth is, is that the house doesn't need to just be improved for entertaining. It's got to be improved for the four of them. By day, that's where they live. And right. that's where they come home from work. Um, that's where the kids come home from school. Yeah. So it's not working as a family home. And it's also actually not working well as the entertaining home. I kind of like fell out of love with this house. And it's just been yeah. like sad. Yeah. So. Sorry, I'm good. You and I are uh, not going to be good for each other. <laughs> um, oh, and I just, and I, I love this house. When we bought this house, we were so he worked so hard to put the down payment on this house, and we were just so proud of it. And yeah. now it's like, oh God, you know, I'm going to have people over. So like it's embarrassing to us, okay. you know, that we just worked so hard, and now it's just like one thing after another. It's time. Another. It's, 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 it's totally time, time. you guys. It's, it's, time. it's time. And you know what? I We relate to that, you know, emotion around that because people feel differently when they have a beautiful space to live in. Yeah. It just lifts you up mm -hmm. all right. the time. Yeah. It really breaks my heart when people aren't proud of their home. I know, me too. And the thing is, is that everybody thinks you need to come in with a jackhammer and hundreds of thousands of dollars to start loving your home. But the truth is you don't. Painting a room in your home or buying a new pair of throw pillows or fixing finally a, a, that broken lampshade. It's these little sort of incremental things that aren't really that complicated to do that reconnects you to this space. All right, let's talk about okay. the beer steins though. It seemed, this is a really old collection. This looks pretty cool. Yeah, my grandfather traveled to okay. Europe a lot. Every time he went somewhere, he got one. I mean, it's, I like the size. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I, wow. think, it's my kind I, think, of I think historically people each had their own beer stein in their local pub. So I feel like okay. they drank out of their own. That, yes. And then people started collecting them because yeah, they got right. more ornate mm -hmm. and more we interesting. We need a family beer stein. You, it's not a stein. What is it? That's like <laughs> amazing. <laughs> What's um, a stein? It's a stein. stein. I mean, actually, in German, it is a stein. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. Sorry, I'm bilingual. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, do you want to keep these? Oh, you've got a whole grouping here. Yeah. I don't like to keep them. Yeah. Okay. To show off. Uh, they're cool. They're cool looking. My grandfather, he always had them in his basement in his little bar area, and then. Well, he's no longer with us, so now I could show them off. Their kitchen is the worst kitchen we have ever no. redesigned. No, yes, it is. Been, we have seen some doozies. No, but that is brutal. It was. It's it, a galley kitchen. There is no space. There's no countertops. The cabinets are falling off the wall. And a couple holes. Well, it's terrifying. It's my worst nightmare. My worst nightmare. I can't cook, but if I had this kitchen, I would have filled the wine corks much faster than you. Yeah. There would have been yeah. like, you, I could have yeah. built a house out of wine corks. What's really beautiful about Laura and Mark's house is that you can tell that this is the place filled with love and laughter and mm -hmm. fun and joy, but it is time for a new look. It's a little worn out. What is the dreamscape for this kitchen? So I like the cabinet to be white. Everything white and bright, fresh and new. Yes, okay. exactly, like clean. The sign, um, close gently, don't slam. Laura has anger issues. So I'm scared. <laughs> we need a new kitchen, hell. I know that this kitchen is probably the height of frustration oh. for you, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Show us where you guys hang okay. out. Yeah. All right, so this. Oh, cool. This is the family room. This, this is great. This is the family room. Okay. This so, is great. Is there anything in here that you guys want to keep? I know the fireplace. I whitewashed that all on my own. Good job. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Mark took the kids out to dinner one night, and I went to town on that fireplace, and I think it came out so cool. Um, so I definitely would love to see that brick stay Still. like that. Okay. Yeah, I do okay. like it. It's your work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's just run through things. Mm -hmm. Let's do rapid fire. Yeah. Okay. okay. Stay or leave? Ottoman. Leave. Okay. Sofa. Gone. All right. <laughs> Drapes. Gone. Carpet. At burn it. Oh, wow. This is a fresh first for us. Start. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I love a fresh start. You have to be so excited right now. Never been <laughs> happier. Nothing brings them joy anymore. It brings them back to a specific moment in time that they're ready to move past. And that's what's exciting about this experience for them. Getting to reimagine this home and reimagine this space that their family comes to. And I'm really looking forward to this next chapter for them. How much money have you saved? Babe? 
175. Okay. Wow. So you guys, thank you. So sick. <laughs> Does it stress you out? That's, um, just that's be like, a we've huge this chunk. Here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was a lot of overtime on Mark's part. You know, a lot of Saturdays, him getting up early to go to work and missing the kids' sports. We sacrificed a lot to get to this point. Here we go, babe. One last view of our kitchen. I mean, this is the first time we've ever gone through a conversation with people and there wasn't one thing really that they wanted to keep. Aside from all the beer steins, the wine corks. With the wine corks. There isn't one piece of furniture, there isn't anything in that house that sparks joy that they want to take with them. And that means something. So if you look at the layout of what it is now, currently there's zero flow in their house and this front room is totally underutilized. Mark and Laura love the idea of having this space for the whole family to spread out on their main floor. Removing these walls and giving them the space and flow they need and reworking the cramped galley kitchen into a spacious open plan will help them feel connected. I kind of like um, this color for the house. That's cool. a really pretty color. For um, the family room, maybe. The family room is their primary hangout spot, so we're gonna give this room a complete overhaul, starting with new hardwood flooring in a herringbone pattern and painting the dated red walls. To make the most of this vaulted ceiling, we'll replace the existing faux beams with real wood in the same light color as the new floor. This is where they watch all their sporting events, so we're gonna include durable, comfortable furniture that the family can snuggle together on. And then we keep her brick as is and maybe add a mantle to it. What if we take away those wing walls? And then it looks a little bit less like 1970s. Okay. Do you like going with a really light floor for them? I do. Especially for the wear and tear of everyday life with all the people there, they'll be easier to manage. Yeah, Laura wants a white kitchen. We will be working around that. Taking down the walls will give us so much more space to work with. Tons of new cabinets, all new appliances, and a big island where she can serve a large crowd will give Laura lots of room to prep and serve food to family and their fellow sports fans during those big games. Continuing those beams from the family room will be an extra detail to put this room over the top. Which panel, when you look at these two kitchen cabinet ideas, which one do you like? Do you like the warmer white or the soft? I do too. How do you feel about bringing in some things like reflective quality? Like, do we bring in some brass for her, for hardware? Is it nickel? I feel like she's gonna like brass. I don't know if she would like brass, actually. That, that um, sign with all the wine corks and everything is like an iron. I think this is a moment where we could go a little bit darker on the finishes. And my instinct would be utilize the front of the house as maybe a dining room. We'll continue that new herringbone flooring throughout the entire main floor and repaint the dark beige walls into a lighter, more neutral tone. With the walls opened up, there is a ton of natural light, so we can remove this window to build a bar space and make this dining room fun and functional. Keep everything light and bright, which may normally scares me, but I think with them, it'll go a long way. Mark and Laura's house has served them really well for the last 15 years, but the moment they've been waiting for is finally here. After all their saving and sacrifice, we want to make sure it's done right. So we're peeling back all the layers of this worn out home so we can start with a clean slate. Our contractor, Mike, went into the house, took the very first piece of drywall down and said to us, you guys need to come over right away, which is always a terrible sign. Mike, what's up? I'm gonna explain to you what happened. Why is this whole thing demo? Where'd the, the whole, house go? Where's the wall? You know the deal, we've been doing this long enough. I told you how bad a problem it is. This house has a serious termite issue. It's all dry, non-active, grows all the way up, into here, down, oh. Oh, all no. the way down below. We're coming up here, all the way up to the ceiling. That's what caused us to have to gut this room. Oh my God. God, it just keeps Look going. Look above the top of the header. That's all termite damage right there. And that's right all there. structural. Oh my God, the whole thing is just destroyed. Yeah. What is this, like a fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 line item, this? You're right in that, rain, in that neighborhood, yes. We'll call Mark and Laura and let them know, but I can't go to them for more money. We're finally in a situation that we well, are gonna, gonna have to start cutting things from the scope. 
All right, this looks great. All this new wood is from where you had to replace all the wood that was eaten by the termites, right? Yep. The flow of this feels nice, though. Well, I mean, the house feels twice as big as it did the first time we were here. Oh, absolutely. It was a decision to close this window, but I think the concept that we had here- The uh, arched the, bar. Yeah, like the two floor-to-ceiling cabinets, the arch in the center, it'll be lit from behind. It's been established that this family likes to entertain. Right. So I think the built-in bar will go a long way. One thing that she wanted was a bright, open kitchen. White. And that's what she wanted oh, very clearly. That. She yeah. wants white. Everything white is white. White everything. Countertops too? Yes, yeah. we're gonna do a quartz in here, just like this but, right here. But I think it'll be pretty. I think it'll be yep. really pretty. Mark and Laura loved entertaining, but hated how disconnected their home felt. So we reconfigured the main floor, and today we're closing up the perimeter of their new layout. With the walls down and the beautiful herringbone flooring across the main floor, the space has an open, cohesive flow. The open concept kitchen will be a massive improvement on the cramped galley kitchen that they had with light and bright cabinetry and loads of surface area, where Laura can prep and serve food during the next big Super Bowl party. We're in the home stretch at Mark and Laura's. Laura wanted a light and bright, sophisticated space, and we're delivering with a full paint job, elegant moldings, and sleek recessed lighting. Durability is key in this attractive home, so we're installing a sturdy handrail and all new hardware in a dark, contrasting finish. The furniture is all pure performance fabric, which will easily stand up to these rowdy sports fans. Oh God, babe, they're here. All right, where do I put this? There's leaves on the floor. This ah. is on the floor. I guess I'll just put these in here. <sighs> Hold it together. Ah. Okay, here they come. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Babe, put your lighter away. Going in. Holy moly. Damn. <laughs> Holy cow. My goodness. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> I am shocked right now. Holy cow. <laughs> we love it! Yay! We love it! Look at this. What do you think? Awesome. Oh. Yeah, freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. What do you think? Awesome. 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 <laughs> Look at the age, babe. Oh. <laughs> the moment we walked in, I was speechless. We thought about how this was all going to play out, but never in a million years did I imagine it would have looked as open and clean and beautiful as it did. These are from Metlach, Germany. Both of these actually are from the late 19th century. This one is worth about $600. Which is Whoa. crazy. Yeah, okay. and then this one is worth about $450. No kidding. Wow. And the way you know um, is that all of them are marked on the bottom, if you can see. Huh. So That's these so are the cool. finest, yeah, look at the that. finest yeah. of the collection. We but we no thought idea. that was really, really special to you. Yeah. And we wanted yeah. them to have a place That's of awesome. honor. And it's something that's there for you. Yeah. <gasps> oh, look at this couch. Oh, my God. Oh, this is oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. The fireplace looks great. Amazing. Sweet. It's cool, right? So I you're a whitewashed it. brick, but we added the, the mantle. Yep. Obviously, your TV needs to go there, yeah. but we yes. can hang it. Yeah. Really, like this room, I mean, look at this. You see all the way yes. to the front. Yeah. 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 Yep. Before this, there was no flow to our house. Nothing. Anytime we had a party, it was almost having three separate parties in one house because everybody was in different rooms. Could it be with everybody now? Just looking at this, everything is open now. It's, just can't wait. That's what we've been talking about. <laughs>